What's your go-to pizza topping? Go-to pizza topping, pepperoni. Would you rather fly or be invisible? I would rather fly, for sure. Save me a lot of time. What's your most used emoji? My most used emoji is a combo package. Sunglasses on, pound fist. What's your secret party trick? My secret party trick, uh, making bottles of wine disappear. <laughs> What's your go-to selfie pose? It's a bit of a, a wrinkle in the forehead, kind of confused look like, sorry, what'd you say? That kind of vibe. What's in your pocket? Just a cell phone. That's it, that's all I got. And an insulin pump, I'm a diabetic, so I gotta keep that in there. If you could be any type of sandwich, what sandwich would you be? Italian hero, turkey, salami, provolone, lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, olives, orland vinegar, oregano. Would you rather have fingers as long as arms or arms as long as fingers? Fingers as long as arms or arms as long as fingers? Uh, fingers as long as arms. Yeah, I could do more with this. What's your favorite reality TV show? My favorite reality TV show is Life. I'm very present and I live it every moment of my life and I don't need to watch reality on TV to feel like I know what's going on. What was the last text you sent? I'm gonna look, because I have my phone here. Let's see. Let's hope it's nothing dirty. Oh yeah, I just said to my friends, not sure what my production schedule is this week, I'll be shooting, uh, but let's try to hang out this week if possible. What was the last thing you bought? These jeans, actually. Just a little while ago. I had to do a fake hem job, see? Because I just bought them. My legs are shorter than the guy they fit these on. What's your best impression? I'm not very good with impressions, to be honest. Uh, I've got a bunch of characters in my head that I like to pull out from time to time, but as far as impressions go, usually they end up being some sort of morph of an Australian and Russian accent, and I can't ever really figure it out, so I just sort of steer clear of it. What's the best date you've ever been on? I was rehearsing a tour once, and, and this girl was very sweet, and I felt terrible about this, but I was very tired from 18 hours of tour rehearsal, and I set up this like really beautiful date on top of the hotel that I was staying on, you look over the whole city. And I ordered a pasta, and within two bites, I fell asleep. And I felt terrible about it, and I woke up and said, I'm so sorry. She said, no, it's okay, it's okay, you needed to rest, clearly. And I felt like I had to make it up to her, so another time, um, you know, we, we went, I think we saw Michael Bublé or something, and uh, it was great. So that was a long way to get to Michael Bublé, it was a great day, but. What do you look for in a partner? I look for honesty, uh, I look for the ability to to mesh well with my friends and uh, groups of people. I think that's a, a nice character trait to involve people in the conversation. And someone that likes uh, someone that likes some of the same TV shows that I like, that makes things a little easier. That way we can talk about those things. Because you hate that thing in a date when you, okay, you watch the latest episode of Billions, for instance, and then you're like, I don't watch that show. And then you're stuck thinking about how great the last episode was and you can't talk about it. Who's your favorite Disney princess and why? Elsa, right? That's the one from Frozen. I like her because she didn't need a man. That to me is really cool. I think that's a good message. And uh, yeah, Elsa. And Jasmine, I love Jasmine too though.